start this vlog off at least three times this week. It's Wednesday now, so that's where we're at. I don't know if it's just like my headspace or if it's just everything that's been going on yesterday. Amberlynn was sick, and so, um, you know, most of the day was actually spent doing a lot more than I would have liked to because she was sick, obviously, but we got a nail on our tire. We had to go see if we could get that fixed. We weren't able to, so we had to wait till today, but it's fixed, so that's good. I stopped at Trader Joe's after we dropped Matt off just to pick up a couple things. Um, so I'm just going to show you guys what we got. I'm going to put you guys down a little bit. I got these eucalyptus, eucalyptus leaves and I've been wanting to hang some eucalyptus and just get some fresh plants in here and obviously eucalyptus has a lot of like health benefits. I also just really like the smell of it and I've also been wanting to hang it in our shower so that's what I'm going to be doing with these um, in my shower or mine and Matt's shower and then in the girls shower as well just to kind of get like the air cleansed and um, you know, get a little bit of stress relief, kind of turn the bathroom into a spa, if you will. Um, I've obviously been spending a lot of time on Pinterest. Um, I went and I was actually out of coffee, so I stopped and got the K-Cups. They're $4.99 at Trader Joe's. Like, I'm living for that because you get 12 for $4.99, and that's, um, you know, really good price for K-Cups. Um, obviously everything with the bagel seasoning and then got some soy milk the vanilla kind because I need some yeah um so that's for the coffee that's obviously not everything for our grocery I'm gonna probably head out to the grocery store a little bit later today but I just wanted to get this stuff out of the way um all right so we've finished breakfast but I still have a pretty big mess to clean up all around as you guys saw earlier yeah autumn can you share the apple juice they're not gonna share autumn can you please share can I have some autumn can I have some now that we're done with that we gotta get some light into our living room because I don't know. Is it just apartments here that don't have lights? Or is it just me? I don't know. Um, so, we have lights. I'm going to get started on picking everything up, putting everything where it goes, and then I'm going to figure out how to hang my eucalyptus plants. It smells so good. Okay, don't pull them, okay? Look, that's all. Smell it. Alright, so I got that cleaned up for the most part. Have to vacuum and like do a deep cleaning, but other than that, that's clean. Got over here clean. I don't know why we still have these chairs if we don't have the table to go with them, but until we find a table, I guess we need some seats. Um, that's wiped down. All I have to do is figure this out which I think I'm going to do a little bit later after I get Autumn down for a nap and now I'm going to figure out how to hang the eucalyptus because I don't want it to go bad, you know? I don't know if it's going to go bad in like a second. But I got that eucalyptus at Trader Joe's for $3. So if you're on the lookout for some eucalyptus or something, definitely check Trader Joe's. Um, yeah. I feel like it's been a really long morning. But it hasn't. I'm just trying to do everything all at once. And honestly, I have time. But I just feel like I don't have time. And I think that's just like... I don't know. It's, it's my biggest problem in life. I always feel like I'm going to be late to something. Even when I'm usually an hour early type of thing. But... Yeah. So, I'm going to get... I'm um, taken care of, get them dressed and ready, and then maybe get her to take a nap. And so one of the things that I noticed about eucalyptus at Trader Joe's is that it's already ready for you to kind of use it. 
so if you buy it differently, like the stems are already cut and everything. So if you buy it somewhere else, you might need to like trim it and stuff. I'm not a big plant person. I'm not very good with plants. I killed a succulent once, so um, yeah, but this one's ready to go. I'm just gonna grab like a couple little branches and then I'm gonna actually reuse the rubber band that it came with just because I don't want it to like create unnecessary waste and since I didn't really have much of a choice when it came to the, you know, the rubber band being on there, um, I'm just gonna use it to kind of hold it together and then I'm gonna use it to attach it to my shower head. So everybody's is gonna be different. You can use like string. I saw a lot of people using string. It would actually look cuter with string, but like I said, I don't want this to go to waste. So I'm gonna, this is what it looks like. You guys can see that. And then I'm just gonna go put this in the shower and I'll show you how. And then I'm gonna do the girls' bathroom the same way with the leftovers. Okay, and that is it. And I just kind of looped it around the shower head. Just depending on how your shower head is shaped it, what you're using to hang it, it'll just, it's very easy. Like I'm sure everybody has done this at some point. If not, then I'm, I'm hoping that I'm helping. But yeah, it just makes it look cuter. I don't know, there's something that I really love about like green plants that I'm starting to appreciate it more as I get older. But yeah, it makes the bathroom look a little bit cuter. Also, it kind of turns it into a spa because, you know, you're kind of like, I don't know, like taking a shower with a plant that does good things and there's gonna be essential oils released and all that stuff. So if you're into it and you wanna try it, um, it's fairly inexpensive and it'll make your bathroom look cute. So here's my little spiel on the eucalyptus and I'm excited to try it. One thing that I did read is that you want to hang it behind the shower head. That way it's not like directly being hit with water all the time. And um, I think it said that it lasts about a week, especially during cold and flu season. I think it's a good idea to hang up the eucalyptus, but either way, it's kind of clear cleansing and purifying. And it also just, I don't know, looks cute, which is nice all the time. Anyway, I'm done with that. I'm gonna go do the other bathroom. And then, yeah, I'll be pretty much done. I'm stepping on all of these little gummies that I got at the Target dollar spot. I regret this. If you guys see these, don't buy them. The girls dressed. This is what I did with the leftover eucalyptus leaves, and I just kind of put it in this little corner. Um, those flowers are fake from um, my grandmother when she passed away, but they're fake, so I like to keep them there just as a reminder. And it feels like she's there all the time. And then I have my eucalyptus, then I have like some old eucalyptus candles and yeah, I don't think I can, this one, I don't think I can burn, but instead of wasting it, I think I'm going to melt the wax again and then reuse the container for something. And then also I'm going to melt the wax for that one as soon as I can't burn it anymore and just do something with that so it's not wasteful. But yeah, if you guys have any like candles that you can still see that there's a lot of wax left, just go ahead and melt the wax and then wicks are super inexpensive at Michael's. They're about like a dollar, two dollars depending. And then um, just make your own of your leftover candles. I still have dishes to do and it's 12.33. That giant watermelon. I have to find a, I'm hoping to thrift a fruit basket 
because I'm using the basket that we were using up here as just a catch-all basket, which is what I had originally intended it for. And I needed it to go back to where it went because I have like seasonal things up there. So I might go thrift shopping on Friday because Amberlynn doesn't have school on Friday. And we'll see. We'll see what I can find. I'm thinking of doing like a thrift with me video if I do go thrifting on Friday, but I'll let you guys know. Um, just made myself some coffee to fuel myself into getting all of this done. Then I might try to cut that watermelon, but I'm not very good at cutting watermelon, so I save that for Matt. Um, but yeah, so I have to clean. Um, I have a little bit left. Oh, and then I have to move over the laundry that I started. But other than that, I think I'm going to have time to get everything that I want to get done done, which is good. And then we'll go pick up Amberlynn. I'll stop by the store. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So my skin is breaking out a lot. And I don't know if it's because I need to buy a new makeup sponge or if it's because it's almost that time again. So um but other than that i have nothing else to say i'm just gonna ramble on i'm gonna do some dishes and then i'm gonna go and get everything ready so we can head out and go get in brewing Yesterday I was gonna vlog us at the grocery store and I was gonna do like a haul Obviously like I said earlier in the vlog, but Amberlynn was having like a tough day um, 
just like attitude wise and I know that she's getting bigger and obviously like you know like you start feeling things um, but you know she's only six so I figured I had some time but she's getting older and she's having more um, I don't I don't know like just opinions and feelings about everything and so it wasn't like the ideal time to be vlogging but um, we got through it I actually just I didn't end up going to the store by myself like I was planning to so I had to wait until Matt was off work and then I just didn't feel like doing the whole vlogging thing after that because it just felt forced and I didn't want it to feel that way so that being said I'm going to do a little grocery vlog just to close out grocery vlog a grocery haul just to close out the vlog and you know give you guys a little bit more content because I didn't feel like I vlogged enough yesterday but I also don't want to like make it two days in the life because then I think it'll be way too much but I'm going to show you guys what we got it's all put away so I'm going to be moving around quite a bit we got some bananas the girls have eaten two as you guys saw I made them eggs and then they like to eat bananas with their eggs I don't judge whatever makes them happy um, we got two avocados because um, they're expensive but if we like make them last um, I can make two avocados last for a good week and I don't want to be wasteful and buy too many and then have them go bad because food waste is a big issue uh, I bought this cold brew I've never like bought just like refrigerated cold brew this one's so good. I didn't think it was going to taste good, but it's really good. This is my first time trying it, so it is just the stock cold brew coffee. It's black. Um, yeah, there's nothing special about it. It doesn't even have any flavor to it, but the coffee itself tastes really good. So we got that small haul. Um, I bought some Baby Bell mushrooms. This goes with anything ever, so I like to have those on hand. I also like to have some sort of squash because squash goes with anything as well, especially with pasta dishes and rice dishes, which is a lot of what my diet is. <laughs> Carbs. Um, and then I have onion. Um, this can last a while. And like I said, I don't want to buy a bunch of things and then have them go bad. So I tend to just buy like in small portions, try to make them last as long as I can, and then as when I can't make it last anymore, and clearly I'll go and buy some more. Um, the girls and Matt love eggs. I don't, but we got some eggs for them. I also bought, hmm, excuse me. I also bought the Back to Nature plant-based snacks. They're basically plant-based Oreos. I've seen a lot of comments on my last What I Eat in a Day. Um, yeah, regular Oreos are plant-based much they don't contain anything technically um, so you can eat those but these actually taste really good and they have a lot of like natural ingredients and you can be sure of the fact that they don't contain anything because they are plant-based but I eat regular Oreos as well and they're fine um, so if you want to try those those I found at Fry's which is Kroger for those of you that don't live in the southwest area I think is it's called fries. Um, I bought some oatmeal because we always need to have oatmeal on hand. And then I got the girls some frozen juice. And then we got some Everspring all purpose cleaner. And this one is in the mandarin ginger one. I also have the matching dish soap because we need some dish soap. And then we also got Amberlynn her Valentine's for school, and she chose the frozen ones, obviously. I thought she was going to go for JoJo, but we chose frozen. So, yeah, that is pretty much everything that we got, and that is going to be the end of our vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog or the next video i'm hoping that i can do a thrift with me so if you guys want to see that give this video a thumbs up and i'll be able to share that with you guys anyway i hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys have a great day bye